What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about, I don't know where I am right now. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Shin Yan and what you should be building for her. Or what I think are like some of her best builds, if not the best builds, slash weapons, etc. I guess you could say. Um, am I going to be building Shin Yan? I don't know. Now I will be summoning for the 5 star spear, and the 5 star weapon, the claymore, is on that banner. So if that, I'm, I might have to build that claymore. For Beto, just to test it out, right? Honestly, who knows? I don't know. But anyway, best builds for Shin Yan, right? A lot of people have been asking, so I, I decided I'm going to make that video so you guys can know what's up or what's what. There are generally three different ways you can go about building her. And the reason why is because apparently she scales off of defense. And by defense, I mean her shield. And um, she gets like extra ult damage or something maybe. I don't know. I know her shield scales off of defense apparently. And then everything else is like debatable, but whatever. Anyway, that is to say you could just go defense substats. You don't have to go actual defense main stat for her. Because unlike Noelle, like Noelle heals off of her defense. Her ult does extra damage off her defense. And her shield's based off her defense. With Shin Yan, I think it's only her shield. But um, I I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, as far as the artifact sets... Um, number one, retracing bolide. Now, the reason why, I mean, we, we all know what it does, right? Increases shield strength by 35%. While protected by shield, gain an additional 40% normal and charged attack damage. If you guys don't know, Shin Yan is a Claymore user. She does give herself a shield. And apparently, when she gives herself a shield, she gets increased physical damage. So, Getting the additional normal and charged attack damage is going to be really, really nice when she's shielded because she's also going to be getting a physical damage buff, apparently. Now, um, this is going to be more of a defensive type of build for her. Uh, as far as weapons, you'd probably go like White Blind. That's like the go-to for the defensive type of units that need defense or whatever. So, Because White Blind is just super good as far as you know what you want in a unit that needs defense because it gives you defense. Now... Um, Speaking more about the physical damage aspect, another build for her would be to go into physical damage, meaning you can go like two piece, um, two piece bloodstained, and then go uh, two piece gladiator if you want to, or you can go two piece bloodstained into or four piece gladiator anyways you go two piece bloodstain two piece gladiator or four piece gladiator either or with a physical damage cup obviously. Um, if that's the route you wanted to go. Now, like I said, as far as the um, the first build, you're probably going to go white blind. gives you defense. gives you more defense. If you were going for the... Um, if you're going for the physical damage build, you know, obviously go-to would be prototype Aminus if you don't have any other weapons. Uh, now, the third build is going to be a pyro damage type of build. Now, if you don't know how she works, apparent our shield on, on you know... Whenever it starts, when you activate it, it does do fire damage, um, like you know, like every shield. Then, on top of that, her ult will do physical damage AoE, and then after that, it'll do fire damage AoE as well. So, if you wanted to go into um, like two piece physical damage, two piece crimson set, or something like that, that is perfectly fine as well. So, those are generally her three builds that'll be like physical fire or you can go full physical or you can go like four piece bow light set if you wanted to do that now if if i had to say like what's a clear cut winner i'm not <laughs> it's, it's really hard because to be fair it very much depends on what you want if you're going to be running Shin Yan as a supportive defensive type of unit then four piece retracing bow light is obviously the best set for you uh along with you know white blind now if we are talking um if you want her to be your main damage dealer main dps shout out to my boy medusa because that's what he wants uh you're probably going to be going into four piece gladiator or two piece gladiator two piece um physical damage with like a physical damage cup um that's that's going to pretty much be your build as far as that now um I wouldn't really recommend going into the crimson aspect unless you're kind of just using her for her ult, which I don't know why you would really do that, but she does do some fire damage, so you could spec into that if you wanted to. 
which it's kind of really niche. It's not really, you know. But, um, yeah, as far as weapons, like I said, I've, I've talked about a lot of the weapons. Um, well, a couple of the weapons already. Go to archive. Let's go to equipment. Like I said, uh, filter this by the Claymore. Thank you. Anyway, so, number one, prototype Aminus, obviously. White blind, which I don't have, but obviously, right? You could use these two, which are like the go-to free-to-play options. But if you're going damage, um, at that point, Black Cliff Slasher is really good if you want to get it or if you already have it. Do I recommend getting it if you don't got it? No, not really. The Battle Pass Claymore is going to be fine. And the reason, I, I know um, with d Luke, this weapon is not that good because number one, d Luke can kind of set itself on fire, which means he's going to take damage and then that's going to take away the stacks of this weapon. But with Shin Yen, she has a shield, which is going to be stopping her from taking damage, basically, I guess. Maybe that's how that works. Maybe not. I don't know. But this would be a good damage uh, claymore for her. You could obviously... I mean, if you're going damage, Wolf's Gravestone is the best thing for you. But I know not everybody has that. Also, Unforged. Uh, the Unforged will be coming out with Shin Yen and Zhang Li. This weapon gives, like, what? 25% increased shield strength. And then um, it increases your attack by 5% up to 5 times which would be 25%, and then when you're shielded, it doubles or go increases by 100%. So whatever your your attack percent increase is at the time, it'll double. So if it's 25%, it'll be 50. That's pretty much how this weapon works. Same way it work, same way as the um, catalyst works, same way that the spear is going to work. So um, all of those are really good options because of how they work. Now, I mean, you could go into Sacrificial Greatsword if you want to, like, use her her shield and then have it reset to like basically a perma shield duration because you got to realize that max refinement this is going to be what on a 12 second cooldown or something her shield's going to be up for generally that long so as soon as it's off cooldown you could press it again and refresh it just to make sure you have perma shield um but yeah this i mean that was, that's generally the things that you would go into as far as anything like that skyward pride is also is always a good supportive type of weapon it does you have good damage don't get me wrong you have good damage on this but if we're talking five stars you either want to go wolf's gravestone for damage or unforged if you're going for a defensive type of build i guess you could say um i mean white blind's also there as well but yeah that's pretty much how you would build shin yan or should build or would build or could build or whatever you want to say about it but yeah um, am I going to build her? I don't know because my friend really wants to build her and I don't really like building units my friends build because when we play together, I don't want to be using the same units that they're using. So yeah, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.